Hey guys, third fan of the night. Third, third fan, fan of, the night. of the night. Third <laughs> fan of the night. Sure. You have to learn either. Yeah. I see. There's like a certain rhythm. I want to say it's about a second, the second and a half after he says whatever, and then I just say it in a really awful accent. It's like it's. I, I don't know what the timing actually is. So. Well, yeah, but he's got a new cadence too, though. So oh, yeah, maybe so we have to we do have... it in, in in threes. I guess. Threes, I, I guess. Know. Okay. But uh, anyhow, third fan. Of so this is a Panama copy. We've seen these before, labeled Bernie. It's the same OEM that we have referred to as Tyab. I don't know if that's actually the factory name. That's just what we've been calling it. Um, I have a theory that this isn't early Sierra because they were the ones who used hang true copies and they did have a lot of cast spinners before they switched to K55 type fans. Um, this one is in rough shape, uh, as you will see when we start testing it. Um, it was locked up when we got it and we freed it up, but the bearings are still a little noisy. And... Um, oh, yeah. It would be a good candidate for bearing replacement. This is not something I'm going to keep, so if somebody else wants it, it would be available for sale or trade, and if nobody else wants it, then it'll be parted out. Probably going to keep the light kit, though, because the light kit's cool. And I know Rick wants the bulbs. Yes. Um, anything you guys want to say before we start testing it? I really like the proportions on it. I mean, honestly, if I had all the time in the world, I, w I would take it for myself and replace the bearings, but I just I don't see myself doing that anytime soon. I mean, Pete could probably replace the that's, bearings that's for That's really you. the only big issue with this fan, though, is the bearings. Otherwise, I mean, the rest of it's a little banged up, but nothing terrible. Yeah. Um, I, mean, it's a, I like that it's, it's a good vintage cast motor. It's very early 80s. Also, a really cool thing about this one is it's a four-speed click knob. That is not a variable speed control. It is actually a four-speed click knob with an off position. And then it's got the single pull chain that you see is a three-way. So it's like uh, fan only, light only, or, it, you know, fan light, fan plus light, effectively. So very cool. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate about the bearings. Anything you want to say, Andy? I think Rick pretty much covered it. Okay, well, let's see. Is it set to low? Oh no, it's not uh, no, set to light. Well, actually, it is on the the at the knob, but we yeah. had to turn off the. There's full brightness. Those are the bulbs that were in it. They are incandescent. As far as I know, they don't make LED versions of these, which is too bad. I've been looking for them. They're flame okay, shaped. So it be yeah, just pull one or one more. Fan light. No, two more. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. One more. That's that's off. Everything off. Okay, then. That's your fan only. Yep. Yes. And I, yeah, there's just like four speeds. So this is the lowest setting. Clunk almost. Yeah. It's kind of subtle on low, but, but it's still there. It's yeah. Good. First, I thought it was sixty cycle hum, and then no, that's actual bearing noise. Yeah, unless this was going to be like somebody's garage fan, this would definitely be a candidate for bearing replacement. Yeah. Good thing is it wouldn't shouldn't be that hard to replace the bearings. Anyway. Yeah. Let's see. So. 0.28 on low, 16 watts, and about half a power factor. And then, let's, unfortunately, the low is a little faster than I would have liked, yeah. but I mean, it's a pretty standard low, but eh, maybe not. About 60? Well, it can only go one way at this point, well, right? Well, Mugs is in off position, too. No, that, okay, yeah. That's, it's got four speeds in and off. It's, it's a five, a five, five position switch. Yes. Interesting. Yep, four was speed. was not expecting that. Yeah, no, four speed's kind of cool. I was expecting a four speed, but no off. No, it has an off, too, which is also funny, because my tie of copper thing was also like that, too, with the variable speed. It also has an off, so three-way full chain and off. Yeah, so there's a medium low, 0.38 amps, 27 watts, and a little over half a power factor. The, uh, the wobble is in the light kit, it looks like. Yeah, the motor's so heavy, I think that kind of fell into the fell out almost. Yeah, there's like actual corrosion on the ball bearings, I think that's making that noise. 0.47 amps, 40 watts, 
and about three quarters of a power factor. So what happens is like when water gets in the bearings and they rust, then the motor will lock up. And when you, you know, use a water displacer like WD-40 to free up the bearings, they will free up. But if the, if the rust actually was more than surface rust and it permeated the steel ball bearings, then they become pitted. And so what you're hearing is not smooth ball bearings rubbing against each other. Wet bearing noise is smooth ball bearings rubbing against each other with the insufficient grease. Mm -hmm. And um, which is noticeably less annoying. The hiss is dry bearings is smooth ball bearings rubbing against each other with, with not enough lubricant, period. And then So um, this is 114 on medium high. Yeah. And straight high. I mean the good news is it it, it seems to be a pretty consistent level of bearing noise like it doesn't get noticeably louder yeah no it's it's, faster it's just yeah but it's yeah it's loud but okay so 0.66 amps 76 watts and a whole power factor i honestly didn't open the the switch housing to see how the speeds are derived i mean i'm almost certain it's capacitors yeah it has to be based on the power factor so we can actually click it off with the no, but I'll probably turn everything off. So I'll probably just tap it in because it's too loud. Oh, the solid state was all the way up instead of. That should make a no Not difference. Not very much of a difference, no. I mean, despite the rough bearings, the spin down's actually not bad. Just that heavy cast iron motor. Yeah. Because it, it decelerated pretty quickly and then just kind of, it'll just kind of keep going. A lot of momentum, yeah. yeah. See that, um, that copper, that ornate copper and white tie bibs is, has the opposite thing where it's actually a little stiff, but it's silent. Like it stops relatively quick, but it never has made a sound. So that's why I haven't really messed with it much. You reverse it? Um, I'm going to. Okay. Thanks for the remark. Oh, wow. Well, I have to be careful with the reversing in this. Um, I think there's something up with the mounting because it will start untwisting if enough torque. Yeah, this is set screw isn't tight somewhere, so we're just going to hang on to it during reverse. We don't need to go through all the things. We can just see if it draws different current on reverse. You know. Low reverse. Point three zero amps and eighteen watts. Point three nine amps and twenty nine about thirty watts. Point four seven amps and forty one watts. Friction holding it from twisting only, but it's not that strong. Okay. These aren't, I don't think it's super torquey. That's probably what's helping. Yeah. 
um, point six four and seventy five watts. Okay, so when we test it with no blades on the test rig, it started at three. So I'll I'll throw that out there for information. I think it's gonna start at three again. Oh, I, I do have to say something. I guess, I guess I'll say, I'm gonna say two because it ran overnight. It maybe okay. Maybe it'll start at two. One, two. I think it budged. Okay, I'm switching mine to uh, whatever the Three. next one is. Four, five. Nothing. It's not on. Oh, why is it not on? Pull chains in the wrong place. Hey. Ah, yeah, I'm dumb. Okay, try that again. Not used to these uh, three-way chains. All right, let's try that again. One. Whoa. Damn. I also want to point out that when it was off, Rick said, "Think it budged." Well, I did think it budged. I mean, that there could have there's five other fans running in here. It easily could have. Okay, one of those, two. I'm going to get that one. I would not have expected that. No? Not with these awful there. Yeah, I'm not surprised by some of the things. There's three. Aesthetic prayers for Thank you. 
nose hair. Okay, so not really. I need control to save. You want to stop it? Uh, yeah, we'll do solid state since it doesn't. Looks like it has a solid state. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Cool. Cool me for a minute. No, I saw. I bet that money was solid state. I did. All right. Um, I think it's well, okay. We're not counting bearing noise, but in terms of just motor noise, yeah. I'm gonna say silent. Actually, uh, it's been weird, performingly weirdly well, other than the bearings. If we can tell the difference, I'm gonna say living room. I'll say bedroom quiet then. Okay. It's not silent. Yeah, Who said bedroom quiet? You. Okay, well I got this one. Yeah, it's a yeah, bedroom. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. Tell you, a lot of these were sold with solid state. So. Okay, well, let's put the light on and we can do an actual official Rick test this time. Yes. If we ignore the bearing noise, which I don't know if that's a factor in Rick tests or not. Nah, I'll, 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 I'll make that not applicable. What do you have power on? Yeah, it should now. Yeah, that's but leave it like that. I'm going to go to Alexa Garage Off. I'm to try to get somewhat of a. Okay. Alexa, workbench light off. Okay. Yeah, no, it's um. Nice. That's that, a proper Rick test. That's extremely proper Rick test. I mean, that's the incandescent bulbs do help. Yeah, well, they're cool. They're the cool. Test. They're cool bulbs too. I, that definitely. Yeah. Like if they were just regular round incandescents, I probably would still go with the warm glow anyway. But yeah, honestly, these are pretty cool. Though they're kind of. And I feel like you see that, you used to see that a lot, these type of, like, flame bulbs in the tulips. I feel like you always saw that. Oh, man. It's like I I wish I didn't like it as much as I do. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I'd give it probably... Did we turn the fan off? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, the fan might be off, actually. Pull yeah, it one more pull... time, Andy. Yeah, chain one more time. Ah, yeah, that, that was what it was. It was just spinning down there. Yeah, it had that long of a spin down. And because it still has the bearing noise, we didn't notice. Okay, I have an idea. Is that, is that off or low? Should be low. Off's by high, I think. Hmm, I would say a higher end of Woodgrain Station Wagon. I think the one thing that would push it over the edge for me is if it had cane or stencil, but otherwise it is very... It needs uh, stencil. Yeah, I feel like stencil would be the way on this one, but... Light kit looks awesome, nice good vintage, you know, cast spinner. But, yeah. No, it's, it's a nice fan. It can be yours if you want it. Yeah, I know, I don't... I'm not going to mess with these bearings. Cool, though. I don't know. Is this metal? I think I think so. It's cast spinner. Yeah, that's good performance. Yeah. Four speeds. Mm -hmm. We'll have to ask him though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, as always, please continue to support our sponsors: Fan Stick, Light Stick, and Taco Burrito Mexico. Buy Fan Stick, eat Taco Burrito Mexico. Buy Fan Stick. Thanks for watching, Alexa.